I'm Tom Johnson, the Carolina We'll put you in the gunner seat of an authentic World War II tank destroyer next. Retired Army Sergeant Bill Campbell loves his tank. An anti-tank vehicle. Oh, yeah, an anti-tank vehicle. Top speed, uh, around 35 miles an hour. It has everything a good tank destroyer should have. Uh, an anti-tank uh, cannon mounted in the front. 30 caliber machine gun. 2.36 inch bazooka. Lock ammunition for all of them. Was, I, holy uh, Rambo! Just for authenticity. Oh, of course. So this is uh, pretty much an original issue T-16. And it was all rebuilt by hand by Campbell. A little more than two and a half years of, uh, of work. Why? Just a hobby, Bill's wife, Frida. Uh, this was a dream of his, God knows how many years. But so that doesn't mean different. she's always liked it. I was very, very much opposed to it. Frida grew up in Romania during Russian occupation. And in 1963, she almost became a victim of a Russian tank. One day, I miscalculated the column and almost got under the chains. That's but now, she's used to her husband's hobby. I see how much joy it brings to Bill. And that it does. It's a lot of fun. Even the neighbors don't seem to mind much anymore. <laughs> sometimes they're happy about it, sometimes they're a little bit disturbed. As long as I don't drive across the backyard with it. And most days, he doesn't. Find a field, get with other people that run the things around, unload it, and go. Or Bill Campbell. Or he simply parks it in the yard and says hello to the neighborhood as only he can. In Lower Richland County, I'm Tom Johnson, the Carolina Traveler. Well, that would get your attention. Now, in case you missed it in the story, Bill Campbell does not fire real ammunition. He only fires blanks loaded with black powder. Today, we honor those who paid the ultimate price for our freedom. Under Old Glory, Fort Jackson pauses to remember fallen soldiers. Cemeteries across the United States lands, row upon row of white markers, pay silent tribute to the ultimate sacrifice. It's fine to know that people still care. It's good. It's good. It's uh, people should remember. Bill Campbell helps the crowd step back in time, decked out in his uniform from the Korean War and driving his restored weapons carrier. Showing people what we had, uh, the type of equipment and uh, the uniform and just what it looked like back then. People are too prone to forget. And now comes the bad news. <laughs>